everyone in this video we are just going to go ahead and understand what should be done to prepare for dsc entrance exam given that we are just left with some 3 to 4 months to go ahead and give the exam so how should we go ahead how should we proceed from here first of all if you have not started it would not be the right option to go ahead and do all the subjects at one go the best suggestion would be to pick on three most important subjects which is micro maths and tricks this in a way covers your stats plus tricks you should start with these three subjects to begin with once you understand maths well and microeconomics well and stats some concept tricks some concept even if you are left up with some 15 to 20 days you can go ahead and do entire macroeconomics why because then you would by then know how to find difference how to do differentiation how to do partial differentiation how to do total differentiation what is intertemporal how to define implicit functions the entire macroeconomics believe me whatever comes in exam is just 10 to 15 hours of rigorous math plus macro but you will be able to go ahead and do this part only if you're thorough with this so that's the first thing don't start grabbing for everything together if you haven't started do things simultaneously focus on few subjects do them thoroughly then go to the next steps second solve past years you should not leave on any past year starting from right at least at least from 2010 to 2021 if you can go before 2010 very good no question should be left untouched after you have prepared these subjects well and have given 10 to 15 days to macroeconomics no past year question should be left untouched most of your macroeconomics especially and econometrics can completely be covered if you do these well you will understand all the kind of questions that can come in exam if you understand the past years well if you can solve each and every question of the past year ideally this should not be done once but twice at least but if you don't have time you definitely have to go ahead and do these past years at least once third you have to go ahead and you have to do selective study you cannot pick up on everything now 
no time for that you have to understand which are the important topics for example in microeconomics we know for sure general equilibrium is important in microeconomics we know for sure that there is a short short question which can be asked related to consumer theory for example we know that in macroeconomics you can definitely get a short short question asking you something related to islm multiplier or adas multiplier so what you know and again how do you know this pattern through what has come in the past years so what you know has to be given much more attention whatever you think can come in exam based on your analysis of the past year rather than going ahead and doing everything from the beginning that you know for example there is something which is known as accelerator model in investment theory of macro if you tell me that it can be asked in jnu i can say yes but what are the chances it is going to come in dsc low so my selective study would not want me to go ahead and do this when i have limited time i should be going ahead and focusing on what comes more often blindly go back to rd sharma for maths and use that all the examples for covering your maths very very important for microeconomics do all the back questions of snyder and nicholson you can leave the workbook by variant but you have to again because of limiting limit of the time that we have now but you have to still do all the back questions of snyder and nicholson see there is no time to go ahead and go through all the theories from the book this is the time to go ahead and do application based questions to go ahead and solve as many questions as you can prepare a proper time table this is the time when you have to start going ahead and you have to give at least this is the minimum that i am saying at least 4 hours every day pick two subjects simultaneously give 4 hours every day so 2 hours of micro and 2 hours of maths finish these thoroughly take all the past year questions solve them then jump to the next subjects okay and most important whatever you study whatever even if you have just started studying from today whatever you study you have to go ahead and leave enough time for revision if i have studied 10 concepts but i haven't revised those they are not useful at all the key to win this this exam is to learn apply by practicing and revise so this is a three step process you have to learn things you have to apply those things do past year questions and revise those and 
the most important is time management not only currently not only managing your time currently but doing at least 10 mock papers and seeing if you are able to complete those mock papers on time are you able to do given level of questions within 3 hours you have learned everything you know how to apply them but you take half an hour to solve one question it is of no use you have to also go ahead and you have to do timed practice test to increase your speed and you have to definitely once every week you have to sit in exam like situation you have to simulate that exam like situation otherwise it becomes very difficult to take that stress at the last level right so you have to start doing those practice papers those mock papers if you don't have any mock paper no problem pick up any one year paper and try to see how many questions you are able to do in those given time period are you able to complete the questions if yes how many you have to increase your speed with every paper that you do and manage anxiety and panic even if you get through dsc the next two years are all going to be dependent on this how good you are with managing anxiety how good you are with managing situations where there is a lot of stress a lot of burden on you every day you would be given problem sets you would be having your tutorials you will be having your lectures there will be intensive course that you will have to cover if you have to go and survive those two years you have to start doing that right from the time when you start preparing for the entrance exam so this is what you have to go ahead and do okay best of luck thank you